Hello, here's Alex from the Siebel Hub, and uh, today we're going to look at responsive web design in Siebel IP 2014, especially Aurora theme. And uh, for my quick demonstration, I have opened the uh, Siebel Call Center uh, service request screen. So you see an applet on top, form applet here, and we going to have a look at how this form applet, the standard form applet, behaves when uh, we emulate various screen sizes. So I have opened it in Google Chrome, I have the developer tools open, so now I can switch on the device emulation mode, which I do. Um, the device I chose as a starting point is an Apple iPad. Um, you also see the current media queries that are detected. So the iPad emulates a 1024 pixel wide resolution. Uh, let's reload the page to get the real feeling. And you can see that the form applet still fits nicely well. Uh, the summary field could be a little bit bigger, but then uh, it fits nicely on this tablet sized screen, even if it's a desktop application, uh, the Siebel call center. So now let's flip to um, portrait mode. Okay, you see now the um, applet is a little bit cramped. And uh, for the remainder of the demo, I will just start making the screen, the virtual screen, smaller and smaller. And you, you see that the form applet actually doesn't really do anything. It uh, simply, uh, you lose information and the uh, controls are no longer visible, except when you, of course, start swiping to the side uh, to make, uh, so you can still see them and use them. So speaking of a phone-sized screen, which we roughly have now, uh, it's probably not, this applet is probably not fit for purpose on a small screen device such as a smartphone. Okay, let's go back to desktop mode. And to compare this, I have also opened uh, the opportunities details for um, the financial services mobile application. Now, this is an application that is optimized for mobile use, and it's the youngest in the family of mobile application, just published in IP 2014. Um, also, I've to make the um, demonstration uh, more challenging, I have uh, put in a selector on, as you can see, the uh, diff element that holds the controls in the form applet, so the form applet on bottom of the screen. So now the application is displayed as Google Chrome displays it on a desktop machine. And uh, now let's see what happens to Form Applet when we go into mobile emulation. So now we are on the iPad sized emulation, and you notice that the Form Applet still is clearly visible. Labels are on top of controls. And um, you can also watch the width of that selected element is now 33% of or what, exactly one third of the available uh, size. So that is, you see three columns of controls in uh, the form applet. So now let's start resizing the screen. So I simply slowly resize the screen. And once you hit the media query breakpoints, as we do now, you see that the media query uh, that's used is 4768 pixels width and now it's the element uses 50 percent each which means that actually we have um side by side uh, uh two columns of controls and now let's go even smaller so you can get smaller for a long time until we reach a smartphone sized screen and there again there's a switch and you can see now the controls are arranged in a single column. Yeah. So uh, this is a truly responsive 
uh, formatlet in every sense. So it, uh, the application reacts nicely to any size of screen. Also notice the side menu disappearing at a certain stage, going back now. And let's go back to desktop mode, where you see that actually the applet shows four columns of controls. So that concludes our demo uh, for this first part of a look at responsive web design and what it means for IP 2014. Thank you and bye-bye.